Hi everybody, Dick Coughlin here. And um, uh, quite, quite a few months back I did a, a video called Dick Reacts 2 we, in which I listened to people who rang up um, a particular radio station, LBC. You know, these people who ring up radio stations to give their well-informed and incredibly insightful opinions on shit they know fuck all about. Uh, and make complete asses of themselves in front of the nation. Well, I figured I'd do another one, and um, you know, people seem to enjoy the LBC calls, and I did ask um, people, and uh, they seem to want more. So uh, we're going to crack on, and we're going to we're going to listen to some more knobheads. You know, being be, you know, as I sit here and react to these knobheads, you know, and I'm I'm only slightly more informed than these people, but yeah. Anyway, so. Let's crack on, shall we? David has called from Worksop to carry on our conversation about uh, poverty in the UK. David, hello. Hello, yeah, I've got a quick question. You know this UN report yeah. uh, relating to Britain. I've done a similar report for Chile, El Salvador and Paraguay and Russia and all the countries in East Europe. Why are they picking on Britain? <laughs> It's not that they're picking on Britain. I will check for you. I am. Have they done another, have they done another surveys for other countries that are shitholes? Or are they just picking on us, telling us our, telling us our problems? Fucking bastard United Nations. Who do they think they are? Imagine that it's a routine thing to do reports into uh, the state of various nations, yeah. Right, because that's something oh. similar to a while back. It always seems to be... It sounds to me like somebody's asked them to do this report. Did it ever occur to you, you fucking idiot, that they do all these reports for other countries, but they tell the other, they tell those countries. They don't make a habit of saying, saying, oh, by the way, can you, tell, tell, can you please tell Dave, who lives in Black Puddingville, wherever the fuck it is, you know, with, with his whippets and his fucking other, his racing pigeons, can you tell that prick that we've, we've done a report on on fucking Paraguay and Uruguay and other countries he's, oh, he's literally looked up two minutes before calling up. Because I don't believe that people in Britain are in more poverty than some of... I don't believe it. I don't believe that people... I don't believe that people could be poor in Britain. It's not, it's not fucking possible. Was saying that he didn't say that at any point in that report. Of course he didn't say that at any point, you know, but that's not what this bloke's interested in. So why isn't he concerned about Chile and Paraguay? I think he yeah, why not Chile and Paraguay specifically? You notice he's saying the same two countries. He's literally got a fucking... He's looked at, He's got a map um, he's looked up online as he's fucking... Before he's called... He is, or somebody else doing his job probably is. Right. Right. Okay. Right. It just, seems, uh, it just senses there's some political... You know, things going on oh, there seems like there's some political things going in here. What's all this unite? Why are the United Nations getting involved in politics? What the fucking hell's that about? In the seas. Why do they even know about what's going on in Britain? Uh, what? Universal why do they even know? Why? Why would they know something? How would they know? How? Well, I How? Know what the benefit system is. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking. I don't know what's going on. So how the bloody hell can they fucking know? If I don't know, what the fuck? Who the fuck are these bastards whose literal job it is to do, to fucking know this shit? Possibly know anything? If I don't fucking know, right? Do you know what I do for a living? Right? Fuck all's what I fucking do, right? I think the United Nations is. I mean, it's it, you know, it's a union of nations, and yeah. they... it's a union. See, this is how d far down Sheila's had to dumb it down. Sheila's had to explain to him it's the United Nations. Yeah, is a union of nations. Yeah. Constantly talk about what the Constantly. other nation is doing in and of itself, and and in relation to other people. And you know, why wouldn't he know? You're not telling me that the a from the United Nations would have first-hand knowledge about the benefit system in every country. Yeah, I mean, how could he possibly take on information to that level, right? I mean, how could he possibly know it, know that much stuff? He's fucking right on okay. yeah. They can't do it. They, they can't do it. Well, it's not the first time this... It's not the first time... They can't possibly know all that stuff. It's impossible, right? I fucking... My capacity for learning and taking on new information ended in 1970 fucking two. I haven't learned bugger all since then. So I'm... And, and, and I am the literal... I am literally the, the, the ultimate example. I am the, the, the Superman. The Aryan Superman that Hitler wanted. 
We've had these reports. There was one on violence against women back in 2014. And oh, yeah, the government violence, yeah. shot the messenger then as well. Yeah. But, but why? But, but they can't possibly, you know, all the work they've... Can we just entertain this for a This geezer has rung up a radio station to express his disbelief, you know, his incredulity at the fact that there are people who, who you know, in the world who know lots of stuff, who have, who, whose job it is to find stuff out and have access, and that they know shit. It's literally impossible for him to comprehend or get his mind round the idea that there are people who know stuff. They've got to do a first-hand knowledge of the benefit system in every country in the world, because otherwise they would be, they'd never get anything done. they get nothing done? I mean, if you have to know stuff, if you have to know everything... You know, he thinks. Fucking hell! I just can't believe that. Just can't we just getting picked on. We just getting no, fucking you, picked on. Like, They're just picking, picking on us. You think you were being you've looked something up. You've told us a fucking problem that we have. How fucking dare you? you Who, whose you business is it of yours to fucking tell us what's wrong with our country? Surely it's part of it's our right to make the decision and to yes. We, but again, do you think a government that wants to stay in power, and I mean any government, not just this government, do you think a government that wants to stay in power is going to tell you the full truth about poverty? I don't, I don't believe any of them. So oh, I don't believe anything I'm fucking told. I don't know nothing, and I don't believe anything I'm fu any information I'm given by no bugger. Right? You don't know now, you don't, you know, you don't know now, you don't fucking do now. Fucking the less you know, the more you do. You know, I live on instinct and blind fucking prejudice, mate. Like the other chap say, but again, but. Would you, that would be really interesting to find out if they've done similar reports on. It and would be interesting. It would. You know what? It would be. So why didn't you fucking look it up yourself? I tell you why. Because you don't want it. You don't want to, do you? You want some other bastard to do it. And even if they did, they wouldn't tell you. Because I don't believe it. I don't believe it. No, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You can tell me what page to look at. You can show me the fucking. I do not believe. No. No. They undoubtedly will have. I, I will do a check in this break, but I'm absolutely certain... No, that... Sheila, don't do it for him. Give this fucking northern prick a slap... Arthur oh, Black Pudding, whatever his fucking name is. Give him a slap round a mush and say, you look it up, you lazy fucking, you know, brown ale drinking prick. They will have, but I'll I make sure... I bet you they haven't. I bet you, um, I bet you all the bread and dripping I've got in my fucking fridge that they fucking haven't. Bastards. Right, move on to a different one. You think Twitter is the best resource to understand how much bitterness and anger there is out there, not, not least because not everyone in the country... It's the best resource to find out, you know, the, uh, nothing but bitterness and anger, quite frankly. It's, you know, it's literally where it lives. That's its job. That's what Twitter is. Bitterness, anger, resentment, hatred, you know... You know, to anything, anything awful, all the worst aspects of human nature just filter through Twitter. He is on Twitter, and also it is a place, famously, um, where this sort of bile and vitriol gets stirred up. Fake news. Well, I'll tell you, uh, honestly, um, Tom... Well, I'll tell you something, Tom. Let me tell you something. This geezer's 100 fucking years old. Right. I, I only joined Twitter uh, a month and a half ago. I, I joined Twitter a month and a half ago, you know. Mm, and in that time, I've learnt, oh, God, I've learnt so fucking... Oh, you wouldn't believe. Mm, oh, my God. And I'll tell you what, I've had some followers on it. I've, I've, had, some fo I've had some followers, you know. I've had ni I've got 19 fucking people following me. Mm, you, know what, you know what that's called? That's, what's, that's what statisticians refer to as negligible data. Mm, I tell you. Donald Trump a direct mm. message. Mm. I sent Donald me. Trump a direct message saying, saying, all right, you fucking mangled apricot fucking hell beast. You know, I sent him a picture of my willy. He never got fucking back to me. So 
so is Kellyanne Conway. Ka so Kellyanne Conway? Uh, Laura, um, what's her name? Laura Geller? Uh, uh, Laura, Laura Ingraham on Fox Laura News? Laura Ingraham on Fox News. She's following me. Oh, yeah, all these people follow me on Twitter, and they're, they're obviously leading what I say, because I tweet any old shite out, and with half an hour, fucking Fox News are reporting it. The other day, right, I reported to them that Bradford had been turned that morning into an Islamic caliphate. And within half an hour, that fucking stupid prick with the big thick neck, Sean, Sean Hanaiti, or whatever his fucking name is, he was reporting it. It's fucking amazing. I you can text her a tweet as well. Um, what's happening is... With, does this, this soppy old cunt does realise that literally anyone can send anybody anything on Twitter. Like, it's not impressive. You know... Twitter is you can now send something out and it goes. I can send yeah. one tweet and ten thousand. In the old days, you see, you had to get you had to get a quill and parchment to write, and you had to write in in your own fucking blood and shit. You had to write a fucking letter out, and you had to stick it. You had to attach it to a fucking to a to a griffin, and then it would fly off to. And you would you wouldn't hear back from them for fucking fucking years, if anything. You know, or you chucked it in a bottle and just watched it and hope it got to them. But now. Nowadays, nowadays you can send any old bastard, any old shite you want. You can literally tweet at at fucking Piers Morgan. I hope you die of a fucking raging bout, bout of arse cancer. You fucking North London cunt. And you can do that. And, and nothing. And they don't get back to you. So I assume, that they assume I've won. Got it, that, within a minute. That, is, that is the beauty of social media, James. Yeah. Hang on and of course, I know that I'm the only one who's 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 responding to and re replying to these people. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be seeing it. Adam's in Westminster. Hi, Adam. Uh, Hello, mate. What do you make about James's point that this is going to happen if if she signs this deal? There's going to be chaos. <laughs> Well, I hope James has got a nuclear bunker because it sounds like we've uh, been escalated from Project Fear to Project Armageddon. What an absolute load of nonsense. What he needs to do is to make himself a cup of tea, sit down and relax. And as they said, interest rate in that movie, Shaun of the Dead, will all blow over in the morning to have a riot. This is our resident oh, fucking I'm jock concerned. who talks Again, common sense to Armageddon. stupid fucking absolutely English ridiculous. bastards. No foundation. James needs to get a bit more... Grown up and mature in his outlook. If he, have you seen? Have you listened to out his voice? If he gets any more grown up and mature, he'll fucking decompose. He must be hundred and twenty fucking years old in the first place. Let's just change. Let's move on. Right. Let's try another one. I just feel passionately about this, Sheila. I love this country. I love this country. I'm, I'm quite old now. I'm and quite I old. See... Good, well, if you're quite fucking old, you shouldn't have had a say in this fucking bollocks because you'll be dead before the fucking people like me and people younger than me have to fucking deal with the crap you've left behind. I'm not even joking. Literally anyone over the age of fucking 70 shouldn't have been allowed to vote in this because you won't have to live with the consequences, you fucking... All old people should be killed at birth. We worked out of it. We, war, we worked out. Oh my God! She's already mentioned the fucking war. Oh my God! That is the Bre that is the Brexiteers version of Godwin's law. The second they bring out, well, let, let me tell you something. I am quite old now, and I remember there was a man once who went by the name of Adolf Hitler. You may remember him. He tried to fuck. He thought he could he could control and rule this country, but we saw him off completely on our own with no help from nobody. And I loved it back then, you know, right? Because I was fucking young, and and, and I could fucking get. And I, and I, you know, I can't remember the last time I had a good fucking train. And they gave their lives. Gave their lives. And worked. And, and worked. we worked and worked. And so you want to go back? So literally, you're romanticising about a war that led to the deaths of millions of people. That's your fucking. That's what you want, is it? What is so great about the fucking war? Yes, it's brilliant. We fucking were on the winning team. Yarboo fucking sucks to you. But guess what? It was fucking... No one want... You shouldn't want to go back there. You know, just because you were enjoying all the fucking sailors coming in, love. I feel that Europe I, isn't for us. Europe isn't Europe's for us. Working I think we should join Asia. It saddens me the way everybody goes on about Nigel Farage. I'm not a total fan, Sheila. I'm not a total. I'm not a total fan. He's worked 
work with Europe for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, fucking well, on the 2% of the time he's bothered to fucking turn up. Yeah, if you mean work for Europe, he's got a German wife. You know, he's been fucking riding a... Gr- he's worked for Europe. He's not a racist. He's not... I'm not a fan of Nigel Farage, but he's not a racist, and he knows... And, uh, yeah. What he is saying is... He's saying. Country. And we can certainly see it and round we here. we can see it round we here. Round, round our way. ...to just tame it down a little bit till we've got some of the infrastructure... Some of the infrastructure. In, some... Till we've got... I swear, Sheila, I'm not pissed. I, I've not been drink. I've not been drinking... It's only fucking... It's, 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 it's half past ten. Oh, Jesus Christ. I swear to God, on, on my on my tits, I have not had a single drop. We need some infrastructure. And that's what Nigel Faraghi is saying. It's fucking Delia Smith's rung up. When you say... When you went over and asked, because yeah. your caller said earlier, how did you get asked? But he went with the, with a loaf of bread and he didn't even come back with any crumbs. Theresa May has picked up a poisoned chalice. It's all right, all of us having a... God, this, you know this woman's in the local amateur dramatic society, don't you? She's been practising this call all night. You can tell, oh, I love this country and we can see it. And what he is saying is he went there with a loaf of bread and came back with crumbs, you fucking... Go, but whatever she presents, she pushed down. And quite honestly, I didn't see any of the men fighting for her position, Sheila. Well, there were two of them. There was Boris and Gove, and they couldn't be asked because they realised it was fucked. What does it matter whether it, the men were fighting? What do you mean the men? What the fuck are you talking about now? You're going to make this into a sexism issue. They're Tories. They don't. It doesn't count. You know. If the referendum was going to be that bad, why was it presented to the people in Great Britain? And because they, because, would you, oh yes, I mean, if it was going to be that bad, why did they let us make the decision? Because that, that's just not something a government would do. You know, did it not fucking, did you, did you remember, darling, when that, you know, the day after the referendum, when when you know when Brett when leave won, what did the geezer in charge do? Oh yeah, he went uh, right. I he goes uh, right. Uh, I'm fucking off now, and uh, good luck, bye bye. And he was in Nice with his trotters up. Yes, Cameron, he fucked off. What does that tell you? You know, if it was going to be that bad, then why didn't he just think ah fuck it? And also. We'd all t- well, in your case, that would be fucking fair. Is, you know, more or less, we didn't know what we were voting for. Yeah! Yes, I do. I, I see it in hospitals. I see know. it in hospitals. I see it in the eyes of a newborn baby. In the in the running, running rivers and the flowing meadows. I see it in the Yorkshire Dales and the fucking... The, the Hadrian's Wall... You know, you know, people say to Donald Trump, you know, you don't shouldn't build a wall. Look at Hadrian's Wall. It's only that big. We've had no fucking Geordies fucking invade us. We are absolutely filled to the gills. We are filled. We are literally filled to the gills. Stuffed. We are rammed. I can't fucking get anywhere. Right. It's it's impossible to move in this country. Ninety five percent of this country has got nothing on it. It's fields. Darling, fields. But that's got nothing to do with the European Union. Yeah, what it's to do with... And you do realise that when we leave, it's still going to be full. Right? Leaving does not mean fucking chucking people out. Right? Now the people, and I know that they are racist. I'm not, I swear I'm not racist, and I'm definitely not pissed. I'm not pissed, I'm not drunk, I'm not, and I'm not racist, and I know what I'm talking about, because I feel it, I see it, see it. Best 
people, Janet. It's to do with oh, how much we spend on the on the NHS. It's to do with an aging population. In some areas, yes, it is to do with a, a growing you, you, population. Aging but population. Just, you cannot say you're that a the burden. The NHS are just about immigrants. Not, not least, hang on, you're a fucking finish, burden. Finish, not least, not least, not least, because a lot of the solutions in the NHS are about immigrants, i.e. the people who work in it. I do, I do know that. I do know that, Sheila. I do know that. I'm not stupid. I'd want to come to Britain. Of course I would. And we'll open the doors even more. You ain't been fucking nowhere else in your life. Of course you want to come to Britain. This is all you fucking know. You've had life so good, you thought World War Two was a fucking good old time. But we need to get... We need to get the house building up. We need... There's going to be a shortage in our secondary schools. They're saying it is the worst... Since the, the real immigration boom came, it is the worst. It was in the paper yesterday. Well, there are vacancies what in is the worst? Key, key what is the worst? Profiles, yeah. I'm afraid, Janet, which is why it's so concerning. What is the worst? We are what? starting to feel like a country that some immigrants um, who we would want to come here uh, are deciding not to in numbers. Because um, bastards and, like you. With immigration to one side, those vacancies that, that are remaining unfilled in some of those absolutely vital jobs. And, and they're not just high end jobs. Um, that, that, that's a problem for all of us. It's a problem for the productivity of the UK and it's a product for those services that can't... Oh, stop being fucking reasonable, Sheila. For Christ's sake, listen to this woman. Just tell her how it is. Sit your wrinkled minge down now. Provide for the people who want to use them. Janet, thank you very much indeed for your call. Now, good luck. Go back to your glass of sherry. Fucking hell. Right, try another one. Charlie in Dorking, you're a Charlie businessman, Charlie, does this extra transition time... Charlie, you're a businessman, how fucking vague is that? What do you do, uh, I'm a businessman? Bit of this, bit of that, bit of the other PLC? I'm good to you or not? Sheila, look, 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 Sheila, Sheila, no, listen, Sheila, love, darling, Sheila, babe, sweetheart, love, darling, babe, look, Sheila, listen, listen, the fact is, look, look, no, no one knows. Really knows. No one really knows. What's going to happen? No, 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 no one knows. No one does. No, no one fucking knows. I don't know. You don't know. None of the people who know stuff don't know. No one fucking knows. Which is why I voted Lee. Why I voted for this. Because I thought, fuck it. Right? Let's fucking go for it. I'm Butch and Sundance, bitch. Let's fucking go. Right? I'm a geezer. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me just say this. Let me just speak words from my mouth that have come from my brain, right? We did stay in the EU. If... First off, first off, I'm a lever. You don't fucking say, pal. You, you fucking do. You're having a laugh, aren't you? I never would have guessed that, you fucking shit. Oh, oh, have a banana. Okay, right. I voted leave. I voted leave. I, said, I still stand by my... And I still brain. stand by it because I'm a fucking stubborn bastard. Your vote. By my decision. Mm. By my you don't have a choice but to stand by your decision, you fucking cockney cunt. Because you've made it now. You can't say, you can't, you know, you can take it. But even if you change your mind, it still fucking stands, doesn't it? Ringing up a radio station and proudly declaring the fact you stand by a fucking bat. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking ass rape this fucking, you know, your your your, your decision now. You're gonna fucking. I'm, I'm looking for. The, I'm looking forward to this one. Democratic decision to leave. Democratic. Over Democratic. half of the country have voted. Over half. Over half. More than half the country. Literally fifty one point seven percent, which is most people. You know. Excluding the people who didn't vote, and of course, excluding the people who were too young to vote. But most people, it's like two percent of the country. We still got this. Look, there are there are people that there's people like your colleague James that that that, that you you could pull his fingernails off. He'd still say no, no. <laughs> yeah, there's that fucking mug. Yeah, that fucking wanker, James. Who I ain't got the bollocks to call. I rang you up, Sheila, because you're a little bit more. Delicate, aren't you, darling? You're a bit more like you're a bit of a you're a bird, ain't you? You know, you're a bird. You're going to listen to me, ain't you? Because I'm a fucking che I'm a cheeky geezer. But that fucking O'Brien cunt with all of his fucking you know facts and information and shit, I ain't fucking dealing with him. You know, I could sit here. I ain't, I'm fucking listening to him no fucking more. We should stay in the EU, and he's dead set. 
Um, yeah, and God knows you're not. Yeah, how dare you? You, you, you? How dare that bloke fucking have an opinion and stick by it? This, you know, against against all of my protestations. How dare he fucking do it? Who's he think he is? Anyway, I voted leave and I stand by it, right? But, but there's other people. I, I mean, there's a little contingent of MPs that I think are jumping on the bandwagon, hoping that they destabilise the progress and and uh, 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 for a general election. But look, let's let's go. Back. And there's a load of politicians who I reckon, right? I don't know. I think, right? They're going to fucking do, you know, fucking, you because know, I just don't fucking, you know, I see shit like that, don't I? You know. Let's think sense here. Let's go back to the real let's, reason. Let's that think we sense out. here. I've voted out, and I'm. I'm not a racist. Now. I'm not a racist now. I voted out because, and I'm not a racist. What's he going to say, ladies and gentlemen? Right? I'll give you ten seconds. Right? He voted out. I'm not a racist. Right? And I voted out because I'm definitely not racist. Right? I don't care what fucking colour you are. Right? I'll fucking give you that if you fucking, you know. So, whatsoever. I'm I play fucking snooker with some of them. Right? There's, 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 um... It's Raj and uh, Mr. Patel and um, the two out of East End, Sanjay and Geeta, they were based on people I know. Yeah, yeah. Get, I'll get a little bit. I, 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 I'm, I'm not racist, right? But I, 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 I suddenly can't fucking talk. I, 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 I angry when people say, oh, you're a racist. Yeah, would you just fucking get to the point, mate? And say, would you please ex say something? That, would you say something racist first before you fucking start rationalising? You don't start the conversation by rationalising the racist thing you haven't fucking said yet. Ugh! Tell me why you voted out, and then... And then yes, you no, get no, no. I voted out. A lot of it is because of that. Yeah, a lot know. of it is because of immigration, obviously, yeah. But who had immigration, right? Who had immigration, right? You, you, yeah, good. Because I'm racist. It's, cause it's, not, it's not because I'm racist. It's because of the strain on our public service. All of them are going to collapse if we keep getting the droves of people coming in. Come on. Do, you don't, you, the droves of people, yeah. I only want, I only want white British people to be sick. Who are these droves of people who are flooding the NHS? You don't think that an, um, a halving of local authority funding in some cases has contributed to the collapse of, of, of public services, no? No. Just, just no, immigration? Oh, well, look, listen, it, it, it's been halved because if we didn't half it, the country would end up like Greece. Yes, but you accept... That What's absolute fucking bollocks? Like, we had to cut all the funding for public services and then blame it on, on, all, on all the Pakistanis and... and 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 all, all 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 the all the African and Polish geezers. That's 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 just common sense. So if we're gonna if we're halving the funding for it, we need to halve the amount of people. So all I'm saying is I'm not racist, but we kill all the foreigners and brown people. That that will have an impact on public services, I presume, Charlie, because you've got a brain in your head and and and, and it. Oh can't. please, Sheila, come on! I know you've got to fucking sweeten him up here, but Jesus Christ, darling, no possibly just be you've got a brain in your head it, what doesn't matter I mean fucking ISIS could cut his head off it's not like he uses a fucking thing he'd still carry on I say I say I still believe in it. I, 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 you carry on talking jabbering away I'm not racist right? uh, just immigration because there are so many pressures on public services it seems odd to focus just on migrants who use them seems to me so um maybe take a look at that i'm not a racist thing right right that's uh w well done sheila yeah and um oh I, I, I see so you you, you oh yes take a look at oh, so you're saying i'm racist right that's it i'm gonna go and commit a hate crime right that's it that's all i can take i'm i'm calling that i'm calling that it anyway if you want to see more of this you know let me know or if you you know got an idea of something you'd like me to sit here and react to Feel free to post the comments below. Other than that, Dick Coughlin, Brother Neuro, good night, may God be less.